Normal life came to a grinding halt across the country on Monday due to the nationwide shutdown called by the Nepali Congress protesting against the death of Nepal Talundal Chitwan District Committee Chairman Shiva Podel. Podel, who was critically injured when a gang of Chitwan District prison inmates attacked him on December 6th, died in Kathmandu on Saturday morning during the course of the treatment. The Nepali Congress called Monday's shutdown after the government denied to address all the demands put forth by the party. The party demanded to withdraw all cases filed against Powdell and declare him a martyr among other demands. All the educational institutions, markets, shops and transportations remained shut since early on Monday morning. No vehicles were allowed to ply on the road except some emergency vehicles including ambulances and press vehicles. Monday's shutdown came at a time when Nepal is celebrating its tourism year 2011. Obviously, the closure also paralyzed the movement of tourists in the capital city. Um, what do you think, like the closure and shutdown, how is it affecting you and your travel plans? Well, I do understand that the people have a right to, to ask for what they think they need, but it is definitely affecting the tourists and uh, I think tourism is a big uh, income generator for Nepal, so they should have these in mind before planning all these. We are all we all fly at 12 o'clock and we are all in trouble because of these. Monday's ban drew mixed reactions from the people in Kathmandu, but the majority seemed to oppose it. Just a day before the shutdown, US Ambassador to Nepal Scott Ash Dalisi also made some remarks on his Facebook page, which also drew a quite lot of public interest. Likewise, many youth groups, organizations and Facebook group circles were also seen organizing civil disobedience programs to oppose the shutdown. With campaigns like Gari Khana Deo and Dai Banda Dai, the young people were seen defying Monday's shutdown and demanding an end to such a trend being followed by the political parties on the pretext of democracy. <laughs> On one hand, we have Tarundal, the Nepali Congress of Period Sister Youth Organization, organizing this protest. And in the other, we have a group of young Nepalese people who are trying to oppose that. Uh, what are you guys uh, planning to do about the strike and uh, closure that is affecting our country right now? Um, basically, we are against all forms of violence. And the bondo really disrupts our Nepali economy, uh, disturbs the Nepali people. How does this help Nepal? This doesn't make any sense at all. So we are against one. A group of young artists also found a creative way of sending the message to the political parties about the closure on Monday. With chalks and paint on their hands, they crafted peaceful messages on the roads of Tamil and expressed their defiance to the shutdown through their skill of art. Political interests kept aside, such closures and shutdown clearly do not serve in the best interest of the Nepali citizens. Although the Nepali Congress and its party cadres tried their best to ensure the shutdown in the capital, some voices, although small in number, were also heard.